Hey guys, welcome back to About Technology. Here's another quick tutorial on Windows 11 system where today I'm going to show you how you can change your default app. So let's start. For that, you have to open Settings app. To open Settings app, you can either type Settings in Windows search box and you can click open the app from here or you can simply right click on the Windows icon present on this taskbar and from the displayed menu, you have to click on Settings. Now in settings window, in navigation pane, you have to click on apps. Under apps, you have a section named default apps. So click on this default apps. The default apps section provide you two methods to change your default app. So let's try the first one. So with the first method, here you have to type file type or link type for which you want to change the default app. Let's say if I want to change default app for my mp4 files, then I would write here as .mp4 and press enter. As you can see here, it has displayed the default app for my mp4 files, which is VLC media player. Now, if I want to change my default app for mp4 files from VLC player to some other app, then I have to simply click on this section and it will pop up a list of apps that you can make default for mp4 file instead of VLC. So I would choose movies and TVs app as a default app for my mp4 files. So I would click here on movies and TV and here I have to click on set default button. Now if you can notice the default app for my mp4 file is movies and TV. In this way you simply have to type the file type here for which you want to change the default app and it would display the default app for that file type and you can change the default app with the method I just discussed. In the first method we have gone through the file type or link type. In the second method we have to go through apps itself. Now if I want to change default app for GIF files, now as I know the photo app of window access my GIF files. So I would simply type photo and here is the app. Let's click on this. Now this page shows how many file types does this app support. Now as I want to change the default app for my .gif files, I would search for .gif extension. Just scroll down a little and here I am on the section of .gif files. Now as you can see here, the default app for .gif file is photos. Now to change this default app from photos to something else, I simply have to click on this section and it will provide me the list of apps that I can make as a default app for .gif files. Now these are the suggested apps from window and here are the more options present. Now let's say if I want to change the default app for .gif files to snipping tool then I simply have to click on snipping tool here and here I will click on set default. Now as you can see the default app for .gif file is a snipping tool now. So this is the second method to change default app in Windows 11. Now let's move on to the third one. Now if you can see here, I have a music file of .mp4 format. Now just in the first method of changing default app, I have changed the default app for .mp4 file from VLC to movies and TVs. So let's say we'll change again back to VLC. For that, you simply have to right click on the file and from here, you have to click on properties. Now in properties window under general tab, you can see that the file type is of .mp4 format and the default type for that is movies and TVs that we have changed in our first method. Now let's change it again back to VLC. For that, you simply have to click on this change button here and it will provide you the list of apps that you can make default for .mp4 files. So from the suggested apps, I would simply click on VLC media player and here I will click on set default button. To apply the changes, you have to click on apply and then OK. Now if you can notice that the default app for .mp4 file is VLC. So this is the third method to change default app in Windows 11 operating system. So that's the three method to change default app in Windows 11 system. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more Windows 11 videos, please subscribe this channel. It will notify you when any new video comes out. Feel free to comment below what other new videos would you like to see in future. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you next. Bye-bye.